nowhere or is it now here two different perspectives on the eighth of a series of 21 words celebrating 30 years of call there are moments indeed in our life in our lived experience where if we are wanting to be honest in our engagement with god there are moments where it truly appears as if god is absent and there are moments quite literally where hopefully there is a profound sense of god's presence we should not expect life to be anything different we are dealing with a profound mystery the sense of a human being limited as we prove to be engaging with god in the remarkable splendor of god's holiness the prophets give us an indication indeed of these twin poles of what one might deem judgment and mercy a sense in which God draws near, but God draws near as well in an experience of fire. Malachi chapter 3 verse 1 to 6 gives us a little indication of this movement. I will send my messenger who will prepare the way before me. Then suddenly the Lord you are seeking will come to his temple. The messenger of the covenant whom you desire will come, says the Lord Almighty. But who can endure the day of his coming? Who can stand when he appears? For he will be like a refiner's fire or a launderer's soap. He will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. He will purify the Levites and refine them like gold and silver. Then the Lord will have men who will bring offerings in righteousness. And the offerings of Judah and Jerusalem will be acceptable to the Lord. As in days gone by, as in former years. So I will come to put you on trial. I will be quick to testify against sorcerers, adulterers and perjurers, against those who defraud laborers of their wages, who oppress the widows and the fatherless and deprive the foreigners among you of justice. But do not fear me, says the Lord Almighty. I, the Lord, do not change. So you, the descendants of Jacob, are not destroyed. At times when God is present, we long for God to be absent. At times when God is absent, we long for God to be present. We as human beings in our fallibility and vulnerability struggle to decide which is best for us. There is no doubt that the biblical testimony gives us an expression of God who engages the whole of the created order in holiness. God is other. God comes toward us and indeed not only blesses but also demands not only offers mercy but also longs for our transformation not only comes to us with sweet words but also comes to us in powerful action and so as we reflect on these different perspectives my hope and prayer for each of us is if we are crushed by life we would sense god as present comforting cajoling inviting us into the fullness of life if we have become arrogant or indeed cocksure of ourselves that we would sense something of god bringing us to our senses and reminding us of our need of god and of each other nowhere or is it now here i have sat at the bedside of grieving parents i have rejoiced in young couples tying the knot and celebrating wedded love I have been in a variety of situations. Some of them speak of glory and grace and wonder and celebration. Some of them speak of profound sadness and despair, anxiety and the willingness to give up. Life is complicated. We do know, however, that all of life is holding held in God's care. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, at times we are on the mountain, at times we are in the valley. At times we are sure of ourselves, at times we are beaten by life's challenges. At times we sense ourselves full of strength, at times we are weak. Yet in all of it you remain God, the God who holds us in loving encounter. And so loving and gracious God, meet with us this day, we pray. And meet with us in such a way that you stir our hearts and stir our lives, so that we truly might recognize your presence, even in moments of apparent absence. For these things we ask in Jesus' strong name.